an interesting one for me. I really am so excited to do this, basically to share my experience and hope that it helps one or two people because this thing really changed my life. So I was excited when I heard it, which is the fear of being seen is keeping you from chasing your dreams. The fear of looking stupid, the fear of criticism like, oh, they're going to criticize me. Just that fear is keeping you from achieving your dream yeah and that was me that was this lady a few years ago I was so scared of everything now my name is Sarah Donald I am a filmmaker yes I'm a producer and I am a director I'm a digital marketer as a filmmaker right whenever we are done with our movies we typically do a premiere and during the premiere of this movie that I have produced or I have directed now if you know anything about like producing movies or directing movies you know that it's not it's not easy right it's a lot of planning it's a lot of hard work and this is my dream this is something that I have always wanted to do this is something that I've always wanted to do like I went to school to study this right I was going to do anything to ensure that I became a filmmaker and somehow God makes this happen my dream comes true and I finally study film I studied film in the UK and then I moved to America and completed my study in film I came back to Nigeria because I really wanted to be in the Nigerian industry. Now, the fear of being seen, the fear of looking stupid, where are we we taking this to? Just stay with me. So eventually, I get into the movie industry and I start filming, right? Every time we... I do a movie or I produce or I direct, there's a a premiere after that movie. Now, your girl (laughs) is always afraid to attend the premieres your girl even when she attends the premiere I try to like hide myself now at this point when I was even really doing like when I started my career in the movie industry in Nigeria female filmmakers were like very few you could count us like the female filmmakers so whenever like the interviewers see me as a female filmmaker they're always so excited to like interview me and I will run away in fact let me tell you guys funny story i went into pr yes i enjoy doing pr but one of the reasons i went into pr was that i wanted something that would keep me strictly behind the scene and i felt like with pr all i needed to do was to showcase my products or to showcase my clients that i didn't need to be in front of the camera yeah every time i look at these opportunities now and i'm like "Mm, sarah like they will literally call me for interviews and i will escape now one day your girl now decides to go into pr because i love it and i feel like it will hide me from the world I get a message from, you know, a magazine in Nigeria called Eloy Awards. I was nominated for Ladies in PR and Management. Me, Sarah, in Lagos. Now, remember, this was such a new space for me. And I used to have imposter syndrome. I used to doubt myself. And I didn't have the best support team around me then. I even had people who like you know how you know bad things have a way of taking over like i had my family who used to really support me but i had like some friends who were not supportive at all like you know they fueled my imposter syndrome and because i was so scared i started telling myself like how did they nominate me? Are you sure it's not a mistake? Like, I'm literally new in this field. Trust me, in my mind, I know I know my onions. I know I know what I am doing. I know the reason I was nominated for this. But I'm like, of all magazines, like this is a very Lagos magazine. Now, for those that don't understand, living in Nigeria, Lagos is like Hollywood. So imagine yourself moving to Hollywood. And in the first year, you're nominated for something. That's how I felt like. I felt like this is not my market. And I went to search the people that they nominated me with. I'm like, what? These people have been in the game. Like, Sarah, the reason you went into PR was really because you wanted to hide. And now, like, they are bringing you out. Okay. So they sent it to me. I was so ashamed to post it. I was so afraid. Of course, like it says, the fear of looking stupid. I was always afraid. I was always scared to look stupid. I couldn't even make YouTube videos because I used to judge myself. Like people will say, who is she to talk about this topic? Why should we listen to her? There's so many people doing this video. Why should we click on her own? Why should it be her that we listen to? Man, this thing kept me 
down for a very, very, very long time. Now, like I said, this award comes, I tell my parents, obviously, my support system, I tell my sisters, they start posting it. I'm ashamed. I'm like, I'm shy. I'm shy. Like, why are you guys posting it? You guys know that this one, they even nominated me. I was always like, they'll call me one day to say it's a mistake, that they were trying to give it to somebody. Or now that you've nominated me, of course, I won't go anywhere. Like, come on, the, look at the names that they put. So that day, it comes, my parents, you know, it's supposed to be like a voting thing. That's when I was even like, voting, I give up. I looked at my followers. I looked at the followers of the people that they nominated i looked at my body of work you know i looked at them and i'm like oh these people have been there for long trust me i thought that that thing was a mistake so that day i so i sent it to my mom and if you know anything about african parents they are your unpaid pr my mom sent it to church members they start voting for me my sisters are voting for me me it was the last week I even posted it. And people were like, oh, Sarah, you deserve it. Congratulations. And I got a message actually from um, a very big Nigerian YouTuber. I got a message from her. She followed me and she sent me a DM talking about how, you know, I, um, I encouraged her because when she wanted to get into the industry, she was doing her research on women i say women me that don't really come out but you know how they say that your work cannot hide so i was like these people these people so well i posted it like the last week after there was so much pressure my sister even asked me like please give me your password let me post it for you because i don't understand what is happening again so eventually i posted on the day of the event i go for the event shaking guys shaking i they were interviewing nominees your girl used the other way and ran in someone i said sorry um you know they have to check your what do you call it like your iv and the ones for the nominees are different so like oh you're a nominee we need to interview you i said i ran away from this other field and i came here because i wanted to be behind but you guys still found me and of course like i said i was always scared of looking stupid i was scared of saying the wrong things i was scared of being nervous and pronouncing things wrongly and people would judge me i was so scared my fear of being seen just kept me this thing was crippling my creativity anyway so the moment they were about to nominate the win to announce the winners for my category i left so i'm um, this nollywood actress um if you're a nigerian movie watcher you know her the beautiful rita dominic walks into the um award what do you call it the event venue and you know we agreed because i had met her in the past remember i said i was doing movies so i met rita dominic she greeted me very 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 lovely lady we greeted each other and she said and i said oh i'm nominated for the show like oh congrats you deserve it <sighs> tara how does everybody feel like you deserve this thing but you okay so when I was about leaving, I know how you're leaving and you tap someone. I'm like, oh, I'm leaving. She's like, no, no, they're about to announce you guys. And I'm like, that's fine. I'm not even going to win. So why waste my time? Like it was getting late. I have to go. Like why waste I be here? I'm not going to win. So I leave. So she's like, no, no, stay. I'm like, oh, I'm leaving my, you know, my ride is already here. Blah, blah, blah. And that's how I left. As soon as I left, I get text message from Rita Dominic saying that i think then it was bbm so i got a message saying ah you left now you won i'm like hey no 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 yet again i was waiting for rita to say sorry wrong message it was me me sarah i won how from where to where <laughs> but i won this award and that was my first ever award i didn't get a chance to pick it up myself again on stage because of my fear that made me leave i didn't get a chance to pick it and yeah forward to that of course the fear was still there i was still like i'll make videos i'll delete it and you know that was i flashed back to 
being in school when i was in school right in film school they will write things about you and they will like when they're giving you more like your report about yourself and the teachers will always the lecturers will always say well sarah has a lot to share that can help her classmates she should be encouraged to share more because remember i'd already done film school in london so when i came to america i had some knowledge but i was still afraid to share anyway flashback 2019 started my career in corporate world that i'd never been to never experienced the corporate world really exposed me because there was no place to hide you know one thing about the corporate world is that if you hide yourself you won't get promotion people will just keep taking credit for the things that you do and i think the corporate world started exposing me i had no choice i also started youtube and i started like pushing out my content no matter how i felt i got the most supportive friend my best friend will she will support me she will heal me don't you think this video is a bit no 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 it's not a bit anything oh i made a mistake here don't worry people understand it's a mistake <laughs> and yes that was how i started trying to like put myself out there now another miraculous thing happened we had um like a presentation in my company and i always used to tell myself that I will not be the one to present that i don't know how to present like i am new in this field so said okay rehearsed did the whole document rehearsed with another colleague of mine told her that she was going to present the next day my god something was telling me that sarah they might push you to present so i brought out my best red suit i wore that suit and i was like these people should please not tell me to present but let me be ready because that's one thing my boss always taught me was just be ready and the rest will flow be ready so i told myself that okay i was going to be ready like i'll just try and be ready anyway so i got ready i know about the program because of course like i did the document but i didn't know i was going to i got up and my tummy was hurting now i know what fear can do to you my tummy was hurt it felt like my heart was busting you guys don't even want to know like i was feeling so sick i was i was shaking but i still like i said okay since i'm not even the one presenting let me just find my way to the office because from the office we're going to go to the place for the presentation now for this presentation we're going to be presenting to government officials now your girl is very scared your girl is shy and they're telling her that it's government officials i remember getting to the the more i got there i remember getting to the office i was so scared and weak that I almost fell and the lady because it was so early so people hadn't come except the people cleaning the office I remember the lady had to sprinkle water on my face yes that's how because she saw me looking all weak and she was like are you okay are you okay and somehow that thing in me just said go and I went as soon as I got there my boss said I was going to be the one to present I'm like I knew it this is where this fear was coming from the moment they handed me the microphone <laughs> because you're supposed to, like it's a boardroom i looked around i looked at everybody i was like today is it i do it or nothing i looked around <laughs> i was for a better choice of word i was shaking i was sh legit shaking I started because of course I know what I'm doing I'm just scared I started this presentation by the time I was done any questions no we don't have questions because she has covered it they clapped and I said is this me I walked outside and my boss said I'd always told you that this is in you and that day that moment changed my life I didn't only get a promotion that year in my office we, i had an award i was nominated for employee of the year like it was such best most organized department it was such a life changer like that changed my my life i saw my life in a different way a way that i had never seen before i saw this boldness came from nowhere and i told myself sarah you have been doing yourself a disservice by hiding yourself what's what's that can happen ah you will not say something well so it's better you don't say well and you learn from it imagine you didn't do this presentation you don't have gotten this promotion you will not have had this oh my god it was such a life-changing opportunity 
and I'm glad I took it. Why am I making this video? Because a lot of you are not reaching your full potential because of the fear of looking stupid. The world will judge you anyways. Remember this, the world will judge you. I'm going to give you an example. Something happened in the Nigerian industry. A fashion designer, everybody in Nigeria knows who I'm talking about, got married and she was like everywhere. She changed outfit different and she had different cakes, everything. And people had a lot to say. People spoke about her like, oh, rest, do this. It's too much. It's blah, blah. Is that you're over the top. The next week after her wedding, someone else gets married. This time around, a gospel artist with a very conservative wife. The same people. Why are you so covered? Why is your hair like this? Why does she dress like that? What does that tell you? Regardless of what you do, people will talk. Regardless of how perfect people will talk. So if you're afraid that you don't want to make that video because someone can come to your comment section and comment then you are doing yourself a disservice. You don't want to take up that opportunity in your job that would take you to the next level. You don't want to release that book. You don't want to release that podcast. I don't know who you are that I'm talking to, but you need to start today. In life, the only things you will regret are the things you did not experience, the things you did not do. You say, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I do this? But as long as you did it, and let me tell you something, you don't need 100 you do not need something to be a hundred. That is one thing YouTube taught me. One of the most difficult things that I had to do as a filmmaker was doing content on YouTube and Facebook because sometimes it's not perfect. And I'm used to like, before you film, set up lights, set up this, set up your sound. Now me, I'll come and do some. My sound will not be okay, but I have to post it. My picture might just not be popping. Maybe the light situation is going on and off that day, but I need to say what's in my mind. That is what content creation taught me. Your fear of being seen, your fear of looking stupid, your fear of people laughing at you is keeping you somewhere. But the only person that can fail in this world is someone that never tried. Do not be afraid of failure. Do not be afraid to try. You don't know when your breakthrough will come. You don't know. You do not know when your breakthrough will come, but how will you know if you're not making that move? How will you know? This year, if you've made your plans, you've written like your amazing goals. One plan I wanted to really add, and I beg you, is to let yourself be seen. Never hide. No matter the situation, even if you're in an office, you're an intern, take advantage. You know, in movie roles, we say there are no, there are no small actors. There are no, there are no small roles, just small actors. So that means you can be an extra and be an extra over the top and people will know you. But no matter what you're doing, make sure you're doing something. Don't worry about the world. Don't worry about the world judging you. People will talk anyway. So why not even people, if you do something good, people will talk. You do something bad, people talk. So why not do what makes you happy? Why not do because while a lot of people will say negative things, there's still that positive thing. There's that feeling. There's that strong feeling. Even if I came out from that presentation that day, even if I didn't do what, the fact that, wow, I've now learned how to present. But how would I have known that I would do well if I didn't try? My name is Sarah Donald, and I'm here to tell you that your fear of being seen is keeping you from reaching your full potential. So today, make a decision, make a choice to move, to make that move now, right now, like now, today, now, now, now. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, please comment below and subscribe, share, love you. Bye.